Okay, we're just about ready to start our bathroom renovation. So what's happening? So we're having a complete refurb of the bathroom. And what that means is the bath is coming out and we're going to put a cast iron freestanding bath in there in its place. All the tiles will be coming down off the walls, new tiles going up. We're planning on keeping the toilet, getting rid of the bidet, obviously. I don't think we've ever used that apart from washing smalls. Keeping the original sink and probably leaving them in the positions they're in now. Get rid of the bidet, replace the uh, bath. New tiles all around. Then we've got the uh, shower here, uh, which was a, a good shower in its day. Uh, it is a good shower, as it were, but you know it's way. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's sort of it's hidden away. It's it's uh, it's need replacing, and it's all been boxed in, so it kind of makes the whole bathroom smaller. Although it is a big bathroom, you, uh, because this is the old airing cupboard, as was, but now luckily, well, I say luckily we planned it years ago. The uh, tank we still do have a tank, but it's up in the attic ironically in fact where the very very original victorian tank used to be so all this boxing that used to have airing cupboard in uh, sorry used to have hot water cylinder in it uh, that's going since we took the hot water cylinder out you can probably just see the cylinder was that big there to cut that edge away to get it in obviously we fitted shelves since then to use it as an airing cupboard sort of thing but it's all going and then this false wall here next to the shower that's going and then obviously all that's being taken out the original shower and everything uh, and uh, we'll put in a nice glass uh, a gla big glass shower there uh, which would be great and then big work i'm afraid this is the old chimney breast and that's all the central heating pipes and that well the chimney breast we're going to take the chimney breast out and it's not going to be that easy, but we're going to do it because it will make it, uh, you know, that will be one long wall then. The, uh, the advantage is that the chimney is being removed from up above, so it finishes at the ceiling, and it's also been removed down below. Well, that makes much difference there. So there's nothing below it, and there's nothing above it. So we just take the chimney breast out, and if there's room, we might make it into a little cupboard because obviously. Not only does it stick out from the wall, but it also goes into the wall. But it won't, you know, if it is a cupboard, it'll only be that deep. So it won't be a massively deep cupboard. If, we'll see when we get the, get it down. And then I've already, I've just made a start now on the, uh, this was all boxed in for all the old pipes. And you can see through the ages where the pipes have changed. So these are the original lead pipes for what was the very very original hot water system no central heating of course but just hot water and they would go up and you see that channeling the lead would carry on up and into here this is actually a big cavity which is actually underneath the attic floor you can see it's probably about two three foot wide and that's where the original hot water tank would go hidden in there and that's where we now have our new hot water tank in there so that's quite good anyway then at some point they renewed the uh, heating system and so they cut the lead pipes and they've joined on the pipes uh, with copper so they run up now and obviously the new system is right up in the attic uh, and then at some point after that and they had to pull the pipes out from the wall because these lead pipes would have been in the wall and you can see the original wallpaper uh, but they pulled them out so that they could um, join them on there and so then they built the first box these bits of wood sticking out they would have made the first little box that stuck out from the wall to hold those pipes but then at some point obviously they would have fit, fitted the dreaded central heating now central heating in Victorian houses massive massive job so then they had to run all these big pipes in so this is the upstairs central heating pipe, which is still current. Then we've got the hot water pipe. Uh, one of the hot water pipes, we've got a couple I've got to work it out. 
that's still current. I think this is now the cold water feed. I think that's redundant, and I think that's redundant. But you can see they then built a big box uh, that stuck out to take all the same heating pipes where all that's going. Uh, and I hopefully will be able to put any, any of the remaining pipes will go back in the wall as they were originally. Or I will move them because of course we've still got the other pipes here that used to run down to the uh, uh, to the system to the what's it called yeah that one uh, not the system but you know what I mean uh, hot water tank what's it called anyway, never mind. Um, so the idea of those is I'm going to disconnect those and when we take the chimney breast out those pipes will go into the hole left by the left by the chimney breast and then I could because I can get up in the attic I could route the pipes along and go down with those as well if I can't get them all in the wall okay there we go